Hey guys, John here from NSL. I'm here today to talk to you about the Tensor range of powered speakers from HH Electronics. These are just behind me. We've got the 12 inch and the 15 inch over there, TRE 1201 and the 1501. Um, both awesome powered speakers from the Tensor family. That same family has got two subwoofer options as well, a 15 inch and an 18 inch, uh, both 700 watts. Um, as well as the awesome battery powered line array column system as well called the Tensor Go. That's perfect for those smaller kind of portable shows or weddings, that sort of thing. Acoustic singer songwriter applications, all sorts of jobs. Um, first up, some quick specs on these two. Uh, 1400 watts of Class D bi amplification, uh, designed and engineered just outside Cambridge in the UK. Uh, bang for buck, I reckon personally these are right up there with anything in their class, both for build quality as well as tone. The sound of them is fantastic. Um, so we're looking at 130 decibels and 131 decibels respectively for the output. Um, we've got a pretty large frequency response range of 41 and 45 hertz right up to 20 kilohertz. Um, coverage is 90 by 90 degrees and they can be hung or they can be pole mountable as well as used as floor foldback monitors as well. We'll talk a bit more about that later. Um, as you can see, the 45 degree design is really handy for that floor monitor application. Um, ultra durable, ultra awesome grill, rock hard, bulletproof and um, polypropylene construction holds up really well for those kind of shaky kicks and spills on the dance floor as well. So look, I've played in bands for many years and I've lugged my fair share of monstrous powered speakers up and down flights of stairs. So um, weight wise, I was actually really pleasantly surprised with these. Um, what I would call chiropractor friendly or uh, no roadie required would be another term, I suppose. We're talking just over 14 kilograms for the 12 inch speaker, for example. That's lighter than a JBL Eon. It's lighter than a Mackie SRM 450, lighter than an Alto TS 312 as well. Um, it's partly due to the awesome construction of, uh, we've got neodymium tweeters and Kevlar cones as well on the bottom end. Um, speaking of lugging these around, I absolutely love that these have got three handles on them, one on each side and one on the top. Um, seems like such a little thing, but uh, honestly, really, really sick of speakers that have got one handle or two handles. What's the point? So you've got one on each side and one on the top and um, padded bags that you can get as well that look like this. There we go. So before I get to the all important back panel, uh, well, you might be wondering who is HH Electronics anyway? Uh, so let me tell you, they uh, started in the late sixties in England and they started with solid state transistor amps and were commonly used by a lot of broadcasting studios, including the BBC had a big contract there. They became a bit of a cult classic in the 70s with an amp called the IC100, which was a solid state instrument amp that found its way into use by bands like T-Rex, um, The Clash, Rush, um, and even Pink Floyd used uh, an HH rig for their first US tour. Interesting little fact there. Not just for guitar either. Um, it has been used for keyboards, organs, all sorts of stuff. Great little amplifier, big amplifier really, pretty large. Uh, in the 1990s, the HH brand was bought by Laney Amplification and many fellow guitarists may know Laney, um, the amp of choice for people like Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath, as well as Justin Hawkins from The Darkness and Joel and Adam from Killswitch Engage and plenty of other artists from bands that aren't scary as well, <laughs> like these ones. And uh, yeah, that association with Laney still continues to this day. In fact, you'll find HH drivers inside many Laney guitar amps. One of my personal favorites is the Cub 112, a cool little vintage style uh, tube amp um, as well. So anyway, these days HH Electronics has a broad range of live and install speakers and products, including the Tensor range and lots of other cool products, even some line array products as well, which are very exciting. Onto the back panel. 
So as you can see, we have two balanced combo jacks for either XLR or quarter inch cables, each with their own channel control for gain, as well as a balanced XLR mix output jack, meaning that you can daisy chain a whole bunch of these together if you want to. We also have a phase switch, as well as the ability to turn on and off that illuminated light back there. Um, and the real magic for me is right up in the top right there we've got a dsp section so integrated onboard dsp that we can cycle through a bunch of different sounds so these sound sort of signatures are really useful for different applications music is probably the most common one that you'll be using um, that's just for recorded music sounds the best really big full range i've got a little uh chart up on the screen at the moment just showing how those other curves work as well so the live one would be really handy if you didn't want quite as much bottom end coming Coming through the vocal application would be great if you wanted a bit more of a bump in the high register so you can really hear that articulated vocal perhaps for conferences and stuff like that and also the fallback application as I mentioned on the floor you probably want less bottom end coming through and a nice clear mid-range so you can hear the instruments so four different options there to be able to hear the sound there you have it really um, 12 and 15 inch powered speakers, perfect for DJs, live bands, monitoring announcements, conferences. There really is a ton of different applications that you can use these for. Um, perfect with the subwoofers as well that you can match with them. Ah, sound amazing. Um, I really love them, give them a try. I really think you'll be impressed. They punch well above their weight. And uh, with the addition of the five year warranty as well, grab some covers for them, you're all set. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to get in touch with your dealer or myself. Anyone at NSL can help you out if you're interested in knowing a bit more about HH.